And now it's time for the mix. We're always talking about how hungry we are on this shift. Right? I know. But there's a new study out talking about our snacking habits. Pretty astounding. Can you believe it? 91% of Americans report that they are snacking at least once per day. And 78% of Americans report binge snacking. Can you believe that? It was a study done by Nielsen, two-week study. And among it, they found more women occasionally binge snacked than men okay. and women preferred sweets like chocolates candy or cookies i believe that and nearly a quarter of women say that they snack three to four times a day oh yeah and a lot of people do it in front of the tv so if you're doing it don't feel guilty <laughs> you have permission no big deal <laughs> right. okay i have one which is interesting for all you insomniacs out there there is a new app out there that tells you how to get better sleep. Oh. And it does it in an interesting way. Listen to this. There's a sensor with this app that sits on your bedside table. It listens for loud noise and monitors air and light quality. And then there's a sensor that clips onto your pillow that monitors movements to your head. And it tells you what stops you from sleeping. And what's incredible about this, so for example, it can tell you at 3 a.m. this noise did or something else did. Wow. They put this out on Kickstarter. It reached its funding target in seven hours. I believe That's it. That's how much there's demand for this. Can we buy it? I think oh, we yes. Need it. We should. We both need we it. We should need it. You can borrow it one night. I'll borrow it the other night. That'd be great. Deal? Oh, it'd be wonderful. You of course, I wouldn't sleep one night, then I'd sleep the other. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so did you have an elaborate proposal for your wife when you proposed? I did. You I did? did. I did it. Um, yeah, I did it in Los Angeles in this beautiful villa. It looked like Italy. Oh, she loved it. Oh, how nice. She liked it so much, she couldn't believe it. She knocked the ring out of my hand. Wow. Almost lost it. Well, guess what? <laughs> There's a man on YouTube who beat you. Pro proposal of the oh, most okay. decade. All right. It's a princess proposal. He gave her this gown. She wears this incredible gown, greeted by friends in the lobby. And then he escorts her down the aisle and she performs. What? There they are performing on stage the music of Cinderella what? while Taylor waited on stage. Seth then came out singing down the aisle and proposed to her this what? incredible Cinderella moment, isn't it? I love it. He violated the first rule of Guida. What? Never give it all away early in the relationship. <laughs> you just bought yourself a million dollar wedding, man. You You're did. You're probably right. What's that first anniversary going to be like? You're right. Take a listen to this. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So I only have one question for you. Taylor Townsend. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay, one more for you. Let's talk about hotels in Paris. If you ever go, five hotels are saying that they will let you pay what you want. Guests are allowed to pay what they want. They don't think people will abuse that. They think they're confident that clients will do the right thing and pay for hotel uh, service and everything else. 